This is a, a short tutorial on how to create your online course outline and schedule. So you're going to need a few things. You're going to need your online course uh, schedule template and then access to the internet and we're going to look at a couple web pages here. So I'm going to just um, use weeks in my uh, course and you could change the heading so if this was to be modules or some other way of organizing your course uh, I'm going to go with uh, dates for the winter semester in this case the outcomes I'm going to get from the uh, CARP document or the uh, curriculum document for the course I'm going to uh, list the assignments and then I'm going to have a due date this uh, has an example of Sunday at 11.59 p.m. and that's uh, probably true in the majority of online courses um, but that is something that you will decide so I'm gonna go ahead and go uh, with a full 15 week course your course might be accelerated it might have a late starting date it might be a, a summer course that is uh, 10 weeks or some other combination but I'm gonna go ahead and go with uh, 15 weeks and then uh, I'm gonna look at the academic calendar to see what dates I need to put in the uh, date column. I'm not going to put them all in in this example, but I'm just going to um, kind of look at the uh, start and end dates of the course, uh, when final exams are, and then I'll go back in later and fill in those dates based on uh, a calendar. So I've got my 15 weeks in, and I'm going to go to the internet, and I'm going to go to grcc.edu slash calendar in this case I'm going to be using an example for winter 2013 and I see that the classes start on January 14th on a Monday which works out well and my class is going to end each week on Sunday so if I go back to my schedule here that's the dates that I have for the first week and then I can go and fill in each subsequent week now I want to look down here for any breaks. There's a mid-semester break here and then I want to make sure I get that in the schedule. And notice it's Monday through Sunday so typically the online course doesn't meet during that week. And then at the end here it looks like I have uh, final exam week which is starting on April 29th through May 2nd. So I'm going to go back in and put in 0419-05-02 and I'm just going to double check that. Oh. It goes to Thursday, May 2nd and then grades and commencement is uh, May 3rd. So I'll go back in and fill in those days later. The next column is for uh, says outcome or outcomes and, and it's possible that I may take several weeks to address one outcome. I might do an outcome a week or maybe I address multiple outcomes in one week so they would go here. There's bullets for that and so in that case I'm going to go to the internet again. I'm going to go to the college CARP site which is at grcc.edu slash carp and then I'm going to go to approve course curriculum documents and I'll just do a search for one and I'm going to look up some business courses I'll just pick the first one here BA 101 so uh, it says BA 101 is business and technical English 1 and then on my template here at the top it says course number and title, so I'm going to go ahead and put in BA 101 and then business and technical English here. All right, so I've got my number and title there, I've got my weeks outlined, I'm going to put my dates in. And then I'm going to go back to the CARP document 
and I have my student learning outcomes listed here and like I said there might be multiple outcomes addressed in uh, a week the outcomes may not be covered in the order they're listed in the cart but just for the sake of example I'm going to pick one and I'm going to put that in as my outcome for the week and then I get over to the assignment area now each week I'm going to have some presentation uh, perhaps that's something from me like a, a lecture capture or some document that I put together uh, it might be um, some narrated slides or some other some other um, way I'm going to present the content maybe I'm going to have them read a chapter uh, from the book so I could put read chapter one uh, or I could get more specific maybe I only want them to read uh, certain pages and then I want them to go to a, a website for some other resources so I'm gonna have that uh, the presentation I'm also gonna have some opportunities for practicing uh, the skills that they're learning so in this case maybe I want them to um, complete some kind of learning activity and assess themselves or perhaps I want them to um, go on the discussion board and be presented with a scenario that they have to respond to so I'll go ahead and use that as an example and I'm gonna have uh, an assessment and that you can assess in lots of different uh, ways. It could be on the discussion board. It could be uh, some type of quiz. Now, one thing I want to look at uh, in this uh, document is the area where it says assessment of learning outcomes. And in this case, since it's a writing class, I have quite a bit of writing. I've got some tests and quizzes. So in this case, for an example, I'm just going to say uh, that I've got a series of quizzes before I have a a major test, so I'm going to say that they submit quiz one here. And then I'm going to just go through that for uh, the rest of the outcomes, giving an estimate of you know how many weeks it may to take to cover one outcome or multiple outcomes. I'm going to rough in my assignments and then list my due dates. Uh, if it's a hybrid course perhaps I have some activities that I want to specifically identify as being done online and then what's to be done on campus for example maybe they review a video post to the discussion board and then come in for some type of group activity as I look at the cart for this course I can see that uh, the instructional strategies do involve some type of group work so perhaps at some point uh, during the semester when I know that I have a group activity related to an outcome I can uh, plug that in and and that activity could be done completely online if it if it lends itself to doing online or it could be a, a campus activity and then I'd want to specify uh, where and when that activity takes place so as a result I might have one deadline for all assignments or I might have interim deadlines during the week for uh, an online component and campus component so I'm gonna fill all that out and make sure it's clear to the learner that the uh, last week here is not a complete week so they only have to Thursday to do the uh, final exam and I'm also going to want to indicate whether that activity is to be done on campus if it is where when uh, what they need to do to have it proctored and uh, if it's going to be an online activity to be specific about that and what it, uh, the final exam would actually cover so again I need to put together the uh, schedule using the template uh, access to the uh, CARP website and also the uh, calendar website so I can get an overview of the uh, academic semester